Okay, so now let's take a look how we can replicate objects multiple times using a couple of different techniques. So first we'll start with the sphere here and we can use either these options that we have here in the copy next to the move, just next to the standard move, rotate and scale. We have this translate rotate scale, but uh, with sort of duplication. So this is one thing that we can use, especially this rotate or scale. Or uh, we can go to the part top and here we have path replicator and surface replicator, which we will take a look in a moment. Okay, so let's start here with this copy rotate. And if you choose this, first of all, you have to click a point uh, around which you will rotate and then still holding left mouse button, you basically choose the, uh, the angle. And once you let it go, you can go to the tool parameters here and let's check off this inner first and you can type how many times you want it to repeat and press enter, all right? And you can see what happens, right? So we, we duplicate it once, but then we change it to 10. Now maybe let's change it to 17. Let's try to make it like a full circle. But well, the problem is that typing it manually, it's sort of hard to do it precisely, right? Well, we can try 19, but now you see we don't have the proper distance between these two. So how to do it? Well, we try to 18, no. And again, it doesn't work. Well, that's why we have this inner button. If we click inner, it will create those spheres between the first and the last. All right, so this is the way if you want to distribute them uh, equally. So now all we need to do is to go to the degree and type here 360, so the full circle basically. And now you can see we have equal distance between each sphere, right? Now the thing to remember about this is that the first uh, and the last duplicate sort of on top of each other. So we have to remove either the first or the last one because they're basically a duplicate. And so let's remove the last one and now we have exactly the way it should be. All right, so this is one way you can use uh, this duplication to create an array like this. So if you have an element, you want to mm, duplicate a number of times, that's one way to go. Now let's try uh, duplicating this sphere along this line, but using a path replicator option. So if we click this, it will bring it into our browser. And now let's, uh, let's take our sphere and let's drop it into this path replicator. It's basically, it's like a group. And you can see we already have a preview how this would look like, right? We can see those shapes arranged roughly along this, uh, along this uh, path. If we select this path replicator, we will have a number of options here in our info tab, right? So we have mode, we have a preview uh, type, we can change it into display. So this will then display the meshes that are replicated. Uh, we can set this range. If we go to zero, that basically cancels everything. At one, we have the full count. Uh, so here we can manually type how many we want. We can type 20, so this will double it. Uh, if we change it from count to step, it will populate it uh, sort of automatically. And then uh, like the lower, the lower we go, the denser it becomes. So this is not very intuitive in my opinion. I usually use the count and just type the number manually. Uh, you can also use additional options here in order to uh, control the flow of those duplicates more precisely. You can use different directions. Uh, you can uh, type manually here transitions, rotation, scale, and so on. It's all mm, here available if you want to control your uh, replication more precisely. And uh, as you can see, if you render it, it will not uh, take into consideration 
this sort of a source, this initial sphere that we created, it will only render those uh, replicated ones, right? So basically this one is not caught by the render. And now let's try to mm, do the replication uh, on the surface. And right? so again, we go to part, we pick surface replicator. And again, we treat it like a group. So we pick our capsule and throw it into it. And we will try to duplicate this capsule all over this sphere, right? So if we select our replicator, again, let's change the display so we can see it. And again, we can increase the count if we want. Here, the mode we change uh, along what element of the surface we replicate. So basically by changing this mode, you will achieve a different result, right? So it really depends on type of the surface you have. So as you can see, basically by choosing different modes, uh, you change the, the, the way it looks. All right, you can control the direction here. If you if you want normal, well, then it will stick out along the normals. If you cancel it, it'll just go up. And uh, yeah, so basically this is how you can, again, you can tweak it however you want. Uh, if you modify your mm, source, so to speak, it will modify all the duplicates as well, obviously, right? As you can see, we can squeeze it, stretch it, all the duplicates will be squeezed and stretched as well. All right, so, and again, if you render it, it will only take into consideration the the sphere and the duplicates, not the not the source 